This is the Truth Network. Welcome, fellow adventurers, to the Masculine Journey Joyride Podcast. This is a brand new show from the guys you know. I'm talking, of course, about the Band of Brothers. My name is Keith, and I'm the producer for Masculine Journey and Masculine Journey After Hours. In this podcast, you will hear funny stories, exchanges, and thought-provoking moments that will amuse you, make you smile, and draw you closer to Jesus Christ in your journey of life. Welcome to a new episode of the Masculine Journey Joyride. Glad you could join us. So today, we're going to play a game. It's a little guessing game I call, Do You Know the Guys from the Masculine Journey? Let's find out how well you know the Band of Brothers. Okay, first question. Whose favorite movie is The Princess Bride? We're talking 80s hit movie. All-star actors and Fred Savage from The Wonder Years and Peter Falk from Columbo. Okay, time's up. Which of the guys love this classic film? We had the painful second week, which is Jim's, <laughs> which he can't defend himself. <laughs> that was uh, Princess Bride. Yeah, Princess Bride. Sorry, Sam, but it is a classic. If you said Jim, then you are correct. Okay, last question. What was the name of Harold's childhood crush? Imagine a young, fresh-faced Harold running around Sullivan, Alabama, stopping in his tracks at the sight of this young lady. Believe me, folks, once you hear the name, you won't forget it. And time's up. Did you guess? Well, if you said Patricia Buckaloo, gold star for you. I was madly in love with Patricia Buckaloo in Sullivan, Alabama. Buckaloo. <laughs> you didn't share that on the first part. Now, sweetheart, don't get upset with me. I haven't seen her in over 70 years. Well, that's all the time we have this week. Thank you all for playing. Now, here's a teaser of the next episode of The Masculine Journey After Hours. Because Jesus had milk teeth. Remember Genesis, right? He's in. And not only you have Jesus' eyes, but you have Jesus' teeth, which are kind of significant because with those teeth, you literally are, you know, ruminating on the Word of God. In other words, those teeth get wider and cleaner as you sit there and think about the Word of God and study on it and all that stuff. And you're becoming that eight cow wife. You know, you're becoming the Proverbs 31 woman you always wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just true. I mean, we are the bride of Christ, and that is kind of how that works. Well, as well, I was I mean, ruminating yeah. and <laughs> turning my teeth what? white this morning, the gist of what I was studying is how we do reflect our Father. We do have His eyes, and people can see that if we're not blocking it with our attitudes and our flesh. And uh, I know that I've had a couple of very godly men in my life that, and a couple of them, the names would be familiar. But when I first met them, I could see Jesus in their eyes. There was no question. And then I've met other people in ministry that you'd also recognize their names that I wondered if they knew Jesus. But we should all be reflecting our father's eyes. Go ahead, Sam. I agree. Jim. Oh, I was just gonna. I was just gonna say you had me at Yud. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. He did me as well because that Yud is is this really really deep letter that means it's the first letter in the word Jesus. It's the first letter in the word Yahweh. You know, it's the first letter in the word Jacob. In other words, wherever you go, you you see that that letter is a bit deeper. And it's also the first letter in the wine, as as it actually first and second letter, right? And so, you know, Danny, I can see you have words of, of something over there. I was ruminating on the fact that back home they're probably still trading livestock for brides. I'm just uh, feel like that may still be a live practice. I don't know. <laughs> well, if you want to make some really big points with yours, 
do what I did. Tell her she's a ten cow wife. It really did work. She talks about it all. You may want to better just, explain the story. Well, first. either that or just drop the cow wife stuff and just say you're a ten. Well, we the good? people are utterly speechless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to quit milking this stuff. You know? <laughs> So from the guys of Masculine Journey, I'm Keith, and we'll see you down the road. This is the Truth Network.